everybody, I'm Chevy. Welcome back to the Napoleon Pertis YouTube channel. I'm here to introduce, ta-da, the new Camera Finish Close-Up Complexion Perfecting Powder. It's an ultra light finishing powder that feels really lightweight to wear. You can use it in so many ways, to set your foundation, to mattify your lip, to soften the edges of eyeshadow. I'm gonna show you how to do all of those. The reason I love it is because it's really easy to use, it's lightweight and it makes your skin look flawless. It's free of parabens, talc, gluten and sulfates, so it's really gentle for the skin, especially if you have sensitive skin like me. Plus it contains safflower seed oil which is great for conditioning the skin. It also has a long lasting blur action, so it keeps your skin looking flawless all day. Hashtag no filter required. If you're someone that finds that your foundation wears off really easily or your skin gets a little bit oily, this is a perfect product for you. The three brushes I'll be using today to create the look is the Finishing Powder Brush S25, the Sculpting Brush 10R, which is my favourite brush, and the Smudging and Sculpting Brush 7R. Start with a perfect base by tapping your brush into the powder. Pat and roll a brush into the skin to set your base and create a really smooth surface. Next, a makeup trick that I use every day is to set the concealer on the eye using a small fluffy brush. Today I'll be using the 10R brush. So adding this to the eyelids will help create a really durable surface for your eyeshadow to sit on and it also prevents a lot of creasing from concealer. Matte skin gives you that silver screen siren look and modern day red carpet. Let's have a look at the finished result. I think I prefer that side. Me too. So now I've showed you the basics on how to set your foundation and concealer. I want to show you three of my favourite makeup artist tricks to upgrade your everyday makeup look in a matter of seconds. This is a really good trick if you find that your eyeshadow is looking a bit too harsh or you just need to blend it in a hurry. The great thing about using the powder is that it won't change the colour of the eyeshadow, it will just make it look like a makeup artist has done it. So we're going to use the 10R brush and a little bit of the powder and we're going to apply it along the socket of the eye or anywhere where you need to soften your eyeshadow look. So you'll create a really fused, smooth result and a really, really soft finish. Now, if you're someone that finds that your eye makeup moves underneath your eye or it smudges a little bit where you don't want it to, I'm gonna show you a trick on how to prevent that. So we're using the powder and also a 7R brush and we're just gonna apply the powder underneath the eye makeup to prevent the shadow and the eyeliner from moving. Begin by placing your brush underneath where the eye makeup edge is and move from the outer corner of the eye towards the direction of the tear duct. Mattify any lipstick by using the powder on top to create a brand new texture and a really durable result. I'm currently wearing Divine Goddess in Aphrodite and Lip Pencil in Rococo Red and we're just going to tap on a little bit to create a brand new look. So I'll be using the Sculpting Brush 10R and we're just going to apply the powder into the center of the lips and pat and roll to mattify the lip texture. As you'll be able to see, a little bit does really go a long way. So make sure you tap off any excess powder off your brush and apply directly to the lips. My extremely awkward pouting is not a requirement. Mattifying your lip will also give you a bit of an old Hollywood glamorous type of look that never goes out of style. Rub your lips together. It looks really nice in real life too. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video the thumbs up and to subscribe to the Napoleon Pettis YouTube channel. If you have your own steps that you can't live without, please let me know and leave a comment below in the comment section. I'll see you soon.